Okay, so in my last video, I was talking about the side effects of chemotherapy, but mainly about how, what it's like when you lose your hair. Today, I want to talk to you about two of the other side effects that um, I had. In fact, I think I had all the side effects of chemotherapy, but I don't want to scare anyone. That's unusual. But the biggest one for me, the worst one for me, the most embarrassing one for me was diarrhea. So just let me tell you um, how it happens uh, to be prepared, not to scare you, but to be prepared. So it was December 2004 and I had about three chemotherapy sessions. Um, I was due to have a fourth in December and I was on my way back from a meeting in London and I had to get the train to Colchester because I needed to get back to my daughter's school because it was an activity play, Christmas activity play, and I needed to be there. Um, as I was left my meeting and I was on my way to uh, the station, I just had this dreadful feeling, and I, 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 don't want to, I, I don't want to be disgusting about it, but essentially it was just like a mass evacuation straight into my knickers. It doesn't sound very nice, and there was nothing I could do. There was no warning. I could do nothing except realise, dear God, this has happened, and waddle all the way to the station where I could just sort of clean myself up. It sounds atrocious. It felt atrocious. I was so worried. And now I had to get the train, which is an hour's journey to get back to Colchester. Um, I sat on the train, I, I had a big coat, so I, I put the coat underneath me and thought, well, if anything happens, I won't do anything to the seats on the train. I know this sounds disgusting, but this, this happened to me. So uh, I sat myself next to the loo, so I thought for the next hour, because I still didn't feel right, my, my stomach felt like it was bubbling, so I was trying to do something, and I thought I'll sit next to the loo, and as soon as the train sets off, I'll get in there, and I'll just stay there for the duration. So I was waiting, and then as the train was pulling out of the station, this young girl went into the loo and for a whole hour she didn't get out. And I thought, so I was, I was actually sort of silently sweating inside and I just kept concentrating and clenching and hoping to God that there was nothing else that would happen to me on that train because I had nowhere to go. It was just terrible. When the train was pulling into Colchester, miraculously the loo door opened and the girl came out. She had a very red face, she'd clearly been crying, she must have had some little disaster herself. But by that time, I felt like I was in more control, under more control, and I could actually get home safely and then go to the nativity play, which I did. But of course, I was scared now. I thought, what if this happens again? Uh, I need to have some kind of protection. And I was telling my sister about how embarrassing it was for me and how I didn't feel like I could go to meetings anymore. I didn't know if I was safe, if chemotherapy was going to affect me like this all the time. And my great kid sister, she said, OK, we can, we can figure this one out. And she made me a shit kit. And I advise anybody that's starting chemotherapy to have a shit kit. Because I swear, once I had the shit kit, I never had that issue again. I mean, yes, I needed to go and it was urgent sometimes and I couldn't wait. I would have to go, but I had protection if, if the worst happened. So just so you know, the shit kit is very simple. You have a plastic carrier bag and inside that you've got a scented nappy sack, wet wipes, spare pair of knickers. That's it and you will feel so much better because it's just like a little bit of protection. So diarrhea isn't always a side effect of chemotherapy. I mean, it, it can be a side effect of lots of other treatments too, sometimes radiotherapy, but here's how I dealt with it and it made me feel safe. Um, when I had chemotherapy the second time, actually it got a little bit worse, but I still never had the kind of accident I had before, thank goodness, but be prepared. The other side effect I wasn't affecting was, uh, wasn't expecting, sorry, was my taste. Because chemotherapy makes you feel rubbish, but I didn't realise I was going to lose my um, sense of taste. So for me, my best drink is a cup of tea. But for the duration of uh, my chemotherapy, except in the first session, um, tea tasted like tin. In fact, most food tasted like tin. Um, I love a G&T at, at the end of my working day. That tasted a tin. In fact, I couldn't eat anything that had any taste. So it was just like nursery food, a jacket potato. It was all fine, but um, food lacked flavour. And yet I still gained weight. Let's go figure. Um, but one thing I discovered when I had my second uh, set of chemotherapy five years later was that I could taste sweet. And that was a good thing because I don't like sweet anything really. But a glass of extremely sweet white wine, cheap as you can get, delicious. So that was great for me. Um, but I can remember it must have been about two months, three months after my last chemotherapy session. 
And I had a cup of tea for the first time and, oh, bliss, it tasted like tea. And that was just fantastic for me. Um, side effects of chemotherapy do extend to other things too, which I'll cover off in, in my next video. And it'll be things like cording. You may never have heard of that, but that's, that's something quite nasty when, when you have um, certainly breast cancer in that treatment. And I'll tell you how I got rid of cording, um, which I don't think is by the book, but it worked for me.